All right, well, I made it to the scrap yard. I almost forgot to show you guys, but anyhow, so there's the copper. Uh, cast aluminum, cast aluminum. I just like shit wire. It's crap wire, whatever you want to call it. And uh, cast barbecues, and then the siding underneath, and brass. My full bar. I dumped the two brass buckets in the one. So there you go. That's what I got done yesterday. A little pile of brass. So we're going to get this off and see what to weigh, what to pay. And we're going to dump the big barbecues off. Little stuff goes in the bin. They got a hosh posh. is all messed up, but... That's what they told me about it, so that's where we're going to dump it, guys. So, we have no steel on today, guys. That'll be tomorrow, I think. A nice little jag of batteries, guys. I'm going to unload the big ones, and i got to go back and get the cleaners these babies go in. I will show you guys those if it isn't too dark when I get back. So, whew, we got those. I already unloaded two of them. So, we got a lot of, look at the extension cord wire on that, baby. Oh, we got cord each. Hoo -hoo. So, we're throwing this stuff off because i got to go back in. I came back in because I, I didn't have any room. Because I took that other stuff off. It was just in the way. I didn't have the space to put them on. And there's three of them in there i got to pick up. So yeah, well, we're already out here. We're going to put the lift on too. So it'll save me having to do some lugging. I just got to get it on. So not bad at all. Not bad at all. I love it when I get free batteries. I just love it. And then don't forget all the copper that's on them too. Oh yeah, i got to take all that off too. Oh yeah. All right. So as I said, guys, I got three to load. That one's not too bad. It's the smallest of them, but that one's heavy. Like each one of these have got big old motors in the bottom. They got motors in the, in the tops. They've got control panels. They got a whole mess of wire. See the wire running out of them? Oh yeah. So all this stuff's got to be taken out, cleaned. Same of these. See it's got a motor there. It's got to come out. Now the panel there, the thing has got to come out. This stuff is all worth more extra money compared to what the steel is, guys. So I'm going to load these. Sorry about the cloudiness here. Let's see if we can straighten that out here. There we go, guys. Because I got close to that. But anyhow, there they are. So I just got to get them loaded. I did bring the lift in. So I'm not doing any logging. I did leave those big batteries on. Um, so there they are. I left the two. Actually, I left the four on there. Which isn't too bad. Because I'm going to... I loaded I unloaded the two smaller ones. But these I can put down the side. And then shove these big ones up. The biggest one is this one here. So this one here is going to probably be the tailgate. At the end of it. <clears throat> then uh, the little one can probably go up the front. And then this one. And then that one. That one's the last I'm going to load. Well, I better get at it and stop yammering about it, huh? I'm not going to show you guys. I'll show you when I get loaded. How about that? Got my, my control panel thing here to hook onto this, and we'll get her down. Oh, yeah! All right, so as you can see, I got them loaded, guys. So I guess tomorrow we'll see what it weigh, what it pay, and where to cash the batteries in, because I know it's getting dark, guys. You can't see. But, uh, yeah. So I did have the lift. I went into, and uh, good thing I had to go back out put it on so yeah I gotta strap it down I gotta put something over this because it's flopping that's like right there is a cop to pull you over for that so I'll put a strap over top of it tight down but now I'll let you guys know in this video what it weigh would it pay plus the load that I did um the first load was $200 I'll show you the guys the receipt I'll show you both receipts when I uh when I cash them in so you guys will have an idea and you'll see what I made off this plus I won't be cashing the motors in and the wire in from all this stuff so that'll be another added bonus down the road I know, guys, it's dark and it's hard to, to get to focus. I'm still in the city, so I know it's dark. So, yeah, but there's three on there, baby. Oh, yeah, three of these babies on there. Oh, sweet. All right, so here's a better look, guys. It's a new day, and I'm off to the scrap here shortly. I just had to uh, reload the, a couple of batteries on the other side there. And as you can see, I got all those other batteries left here at the front. The only thing I take off this is the uh, nice big chunky piece of wire coming off that baby. So I'll do that at the scrap yard. And then I gotta take all the motors out of these, which doesn't take me long because I've got all my tools in the truck. Uh, drill saws all, you know, all the bits I need, it ratchets, anything I need I got it in the truck. So to take this stuff apart, it doesn't take me long because I know what, how to do it. So it doesn't take me long. And anything that's uh, temperamental doesn't want to come out, I take the saws all too. And then on this side we got two more batteries plus one in the front. So we got three more batteries over here. So a grand total there was uh, two batteries in each one of these, uh, these babies, these cleaners, whatever you want to call them, polishers, whatever. Um, there was a grand total of six batteries, so, and they're different sizes. We got two that's really, really big over on the other side. Uh, they came out of the, they came out of the little one front. So, yeah. So I'm going to be heading here shortly to the scrapyard. I just, like I said, I had to reload these batteries here. So uh, now the truck is fully loaded with what I got. The only thing I could put on was the little vacuum cleaners. I got to clean them yet. Get my cordage off them. Anything else I'm going to take off them. And they'll go in the next little strap. So, but I did find out uh, pop cans were going for 
45 cents yesterday up there so i'll probably take whatever i got here at the house because uh my pop comes in uh soda what are you gonna call it? these guys call it um mine comes in well it comes in two liters seven tens little ones it comes in cans i usually buy cans then i can recycle the cans so but i don't get any deposit on the cans only beer cans and liquor bottles guys all you get uh, deposit on so just so you guys get a heads up on that one because you actually think i do get a deposit on the cans we do not here in this province of ontario uh there is other provinces that you do get an exchange on uh cans and stuff other than beer cans pop cans like that they get a refund i think it's 10 cents five cents something like that but anyhow all right so uh, we'll see what we would have paid just when you think the day is done more to pick up i don't know guys oh should be too bad to load guess what i took the lift off yeah I had a moment and I should have left it on. But we'll get a load it. I'm stubborn like that. We'll get it there. We'll get all this on. Alright, so here is Monday's load. I got I had 160 pounds of cast aluminum at 45 cents, which came to $72. I had 12 pounds of number two copper at $4.30, came to $51.60. I had 20 pounds of brass at $2.60 a pound. $52 for that one and then we had 48 pounds of siding at 55 cents a pound for $26.40 So my grand total was $202 for Monday's load. All right, so that's not too bad Not a bad little jag for uh, what I got done. So I don't know if I can do this or not But anyhow, let's move on to the next one. So the next one was uh, this is Tuesday's load which is the cleaners and the batteries obviously I had 560 pounds of steel at sixty-six dollars and five hundred pounds of batteries at twenty cents a pound. I got a hundred bucks, guys. So my grand total for this load, obviously, wasn't too hard to figure out, right? One hundred and sixty-six dollars is one hundred and sixty-six dollars. That's what I got. That's what I got paid. So not bad for two days for Monday and Tuesday. So not bad at all. So we'll see what tomorrow brings. Already another load on the truck, ready to go out tomorrow, so I'll show you guys tomorrow. I'll see what it weigh, what it pay for Wednesday's load. And then we gotta go do pickup, so yeah. Well, that'll be Thursday. Yeah, so we got lots to do, guys. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.